We were going to his like six month checkup just to see how things were going with his diabetes. I don't remember if the checkup was good or bad. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it's a harsh reminder that our lives revolve around this stupid disease. And so it tends to put my wife and me in a funk for the rest of the day, no matter how it turns out. So we're leaving the doctor's office. We ran into this dear friend of ours, this godly woman, and she could tell we were having a hard time. So kind of as a distraction, she was like, tell me more about Sam's diabetes. I don't quite understand it. So we kind of flipped it on autopilot, started rattling off all these statistics that we've memorized over the last 14 years that Sam's had this illness. And somewhere along the way, she interrupted, the, interrupted me and said, you know what? We are going to pray for a healing. Now, that ticked me off. I didn't tell her it ticked me off. I'm not a monster. I just kind of smiled, put my little church face on. I was like, God is good. All the time. I was having a bad day. What I really wanted to say was what a novel concept that a father might pray that a son be healed. That has never crossed my mind. Thank you for showing me the way I should be dad of the year from this point on. One more time, I was having a bad day. I feel like I've spent every second of the last 14 years praying that my son would be healed. And I don't know what the thorn in Paul's flesh was, but sometimes I think mine is knowing that God can heal him, but he won't. And that can make for some pretty bad days. Days where I get angry. I question everything. I'm overwhelmed with anxiety. And I know this is lies from the enemy, but sometimes it just gets the best of me. But the one thing that allows me to at least sleep okay at night is being reminded that my relationship with Christ has never been based on how I feel. Thank God. Because if it did, I better die on a good day. <laughs> I mean, I think if we're all honest, we've been there at some point where nothing seems to go the way we think it should. We get angry and doubt, overwhelmed with anxiety. But you know what? It's okay. Because he's got broad shoulders last time I checked. I get a lot of things wrong a lot of times. And it's okay. Sometimes I think our problem is we candy coat everything and we just, when we try to act like we, in front of our, you know, church members or whatever, that everything is fine, we're being eaten alive on the inside. We were never meant to go through this alone. But I tell you, man, sometimes I would love to be like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego standing in front of the fiery furnace when they say, I know that God can deliver us, but even if he does not, I'm still not going to bow. I'm not going to surrender. I would love to be like those dudes just every once in a while, but most of the time, I'm not. And it's okay. The reason it's okay is because unless you... Maybe you've never heard this, but in the life of a believer, there will never be a moment where God says, you have let me down or I am disappointed in you because there is no condemnation for those in Christ Jesus. It's okay to mess up. Thank God for grace. I spent a lot of years being really good at being religious or trying to be. Where the difference is religion says to get it right, grace says I'll be there when you cannot. So I all have to say this song was never written to sound like it's a, a, a it's me saying God's dealt me a bad hand or overlooked us. That is not what this song is about at all. This song is a reminder that if God never did another amazing thing in my life, he is still 
my greatest hope. And it's not always going to go my way. Thank God. And I say it's a reminder because like I said, I've been married 20, almost 20 years. I've got five kids. My middle son, Charlie, God bless him. He's just like me. Incredibly handsome. Hey now. <laughs> has severe ADHD like his dad does. See, I almost forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> and so one night he told me, Dad, I think I know why you do what you do for a living. I was like, this ought to be good. He said, if you didn't sing about it every night, you'd forget. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> so consider this my daily 